trip here was totally uneventful. Everything worked, had no problems. It was absolutely gorgeous. On the other hand, I was really anxious. This was my first trip out. This is its maiden voyage. I was checking everything all the time and making sure everything was going okay. All said and done, it was a great experience, but of course tainted by all that anxiety and fear. This is day four, and I've lost almost all of my fear of being out here, so that's great. Um, I'm really having a great time now. Really enjoyed today and yesterday in particular. This is a great spot. I'm in Chuckanut Bay. It has everything. This is facing to the east. There's a beach that can be landed on and trails that lead off of it to the south and north. The trails are longer than we could ever hike. This is to the north. There's the train tracks there. This is roughly west. The train goes through a tunnel over there. And then this is south. There's a little island out there. Um, this rowboat has come in super handy. I have not used the electric motor yet, but I will eventually. I'll show you that when I do. Probably make a separate video of that. My dog absolutely loves this. I expected him to be puking all the time and getting used to the idea of being in a boat out on the water, but he totally adapted right away he loves being on the water for a lot of reasons. Number one, swimming is his favorite thing to do. And the other are the sea lions or the seals. I don't know what's actually here. I Whenever we go out, I just put this vest on him and he can float without even moving with that vest on. So that way I don't have to worry about him. So we're finally out on the water. The rusty junk floats. The rusty junk has an engine and transmission and propeller that works. We can do four knots just cruising. I'm just guessing its top speed might be six. I didn't bother with trying to figure that out. Life here on the water is really fun. I think that it's not nearly as fun as van life, but it's great to be here during the summer because it's a lot cooler and there's no bugs. So most likely we'll be out here every summer. Boat life is great. The boat is bigger than the van, but that doesn't really matter because when you're in the van, you park somewhere and the whole outdoors is your backyard. So you can't beat that. Of course, the water is the backyard here. It's just less convenient to row around than it is to walk around. So I love both, but van life is still way better. And we'll be returning to that soon. We're going to get uh, hauled out in about 10 days. And I think I'll stay in Chuckanut Bay the whole time. Here in Puget Sound, you can stay in a particular place for 30 days max. I'll only be here for like 16 or something like that. Except in, uh, except in the state parks and places like that where you can only stay for three nights. Thank you for watching. I feel proud and tired and... Uh, I've gone through a lot of fear, a lot of doubt, and I almost quit like maybe five times. I just figured I would just crush the boat and be done with it because it's such pain. But it was worth it, and I think I will have years to come of easy boating. I think my boat is so simple that it won't break because there just aren't things that can break. I don't have all those things. All I have is an engine and transmission and propeller that need to work and sails. I haven't sailed it yet. I'll give you video of that and other detailed videos in the future like what's my electrical system like and stuff like that. But for now I am just enjoying the simple life out on the water. Hope you guys are having a great life and I will be back in touch next year. I'll give you videos of where the rusty junk has been able to get to any problems that it experiences, which so far are literally none. Next year, I'm hoping to travel all of Puget Sound, or at least a big chunk of it, and then maybe the year after that, Juneau, Alaska. Depends on how confident I feel. Hope you guys are having a great life, and we'll see you next summer.